Hi, it's Jerps in Progress, episode 5, the Toyota Jerp episode. Here's the Hard Body Crawler Company FJ40 Hard Body on an SCX24. And um, this is from a previous little build video I did that kind of went viral, got over a thousand views so for this video i'm going to put a couple upgrades on and some more hard body crawler company accessories like bumpers and wheels so let's get to it so this is what i got from them i got the rear bumper a front bumper and set of five wheels and then I grabbed a few Injora brass things uh, steering stuff like diff cover and some new shocks okay so let's take this body off so this body comes with the pieces to mount to this SCX24, a little hinge. So I'm just going to take that off to make this easier. So while the body's off and I'm working on the suspension and wheels and whatever, I'm going to glue in a little man for a driver. This guy's a little custom guy I did. He was a Star Wars man. So I'll just squirt a little of this out. Half a man is better than no man, I guess. So we'll let that dry. Let's do these wheels first because they look really cool. Real nice detail. All metal. So the tires I'm going to use are some leftover FMS Cooper Discoverers I had. I had five of them. So. And they're about the same height as these. Oh, just a little taller. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh no. The bead is too thick on these tires, I think. Hmm. Well, after a little bit of fighting, I got the tires on. We'll see if it actually works. I think the beads are a little too thick with these FMS tires. But I'm just going real easy. These fine little screws so I don't strip them out or break them. Okay. I think we got it. Seems to be grabbing them. Wow, that looks nice. Very nice. So then this little tool guy, lock it onto the hubcap. And this all screws out. Then you mount your wheel. And then if you want, you can take the hubcaps off and you can run them without hubcaps. But why would you want to do that? Because the hubcaps are so cool. Got all five wheels and tires. Front bumper time. Whoa. It's a little toe hooks, just press fit. They're not 
not going anywhere. I don't think you need any glue or any type of stuff to hold it in. The bumper itself is metal. The mounts are metal. This is plastic. No more fog lights. I won't need these because I have the deadbolt chassis. Should just plug right in. Thusly. Do a little test fit to make sure it's right. That is correct. Now I'm going to put the factory axial bolts back in. Okay, that's the front bumper. Now these are the little holes there for the um, license plate mount. I opted not to get the license plate mounts. Leftover parts. And those go over here. Leftover. Rear bumper, shall we? Oh, I tore a box. Oh no. Once again, a really nice packages. Nice instructions, QR code. Terrific stuff. Okay, this gets mounted to the body itself. So let's jump back here real quick. In place here. So this is a metal bumper also. Little steps are metal. Little bumperettes, also metal. Tail lights, pre-painted. More tiny screws. Don't worry, I'm just making it look harder than it actually is. I should have looked ahead in the instructions and noticed that bolts for the step and the bump rats are shared, so I have to undo all these and slip that in. I said to put the taillights in last, but I would probably put them on first. So you don't have to like fight with the whole body, trying to snip them on and not crack something. Make sure you face the orange to the outside because that's your turn signal. And there you have it. Now the body kit comes with the screw for this. Now I have to remember where I put it. Found it. There we have it. That'll really help the center of gravity. Okay, what should we do first? Shocks. Let's do no. Let's do the diff cover thingies. Cool. I'm gonna opt to keep the black. All right, we gotta take all the other stuff off to do the diff cover. So we will do all that. How's everybody doing? Still watching? Yeah, is there a right one and a left one? Yo.
Ow. There's gonna be blood. A lot of O-rings. Okay, that's finally together. And finally, we shall do the shocks. Oh dear, more tiny stuff. You know what? I'm gonna pass on the shocks. Just not in the mood. Nope. Save them for something else. Okay, wheels are on. Let's get the body on. It's a little heavy in the rear with the spare tire, huh? Okay, it's definitely gained some weight. They do include heavier springs in the body kit, uh, but um, I don't know. It does kind of look like it's sitting level. I probably should order that license plate mount to fill that hole. That's another $20 add-on. Boing. Boing. Here's the little FJ60. I just finished it yesterday morning. Built this on an FMS K10 chassis. The body is 3D printed in PLA. It's not perfect by any means, but it's cool and it's unique and nobody else has a little tiny one like this. And there's not really that many FJ60 even in the larger scale, so so the body just comes on up here. And I designed all these little inner fenders and printed them myself. I opted to go without an interior and instead I just sanded the plastic for the windows with some thousand grit just to give it like a frosted look. I didn't really want to go with the tinted look so hopefully this looks a little better on video or something it's just like out without like the totally blacked out windows. So then I did the floors just so not a lot of light was shining through. I haven't driven it yet. I was hoping to get it out today but we got some snow overnight which is a little too much for the small ones. Put the little, the little ribs in the floor just for a little extra detail for when I flip it over. And now I can resume working on this one. The one ninth scale one. So yeah, that's about all I have in progress right now. Uh, I've been really just focusing on getting this thing done and I wanted to throw on those little upgrade parts I had for this. So I figured why not just make a Toyota Land Cruiser video. They're different scales. Maybe we can force the perspective. Yeah. Okay, well that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.